what is probably the biggest thing to understand of repentance in general with the soul? Wow. Um, I think the, the first thing, first two things immediately come to mind. Okay. One is that um, we are limited. There's only so much we can do. Um, we really do need a savior. Um, not only do we need, uh, there's a part of us that really wants it. Because we're hardwired that way. We're hardwired, we're created in the image of God, and we're only fully ourselves when we are in, you know, union, relationship, whatever, with God. Mm -hmm. So we're happiest like that. But, unfortunately, there's another part of us that doesn't want it. So I think the first step is, you know, really realizing that that's something that we that we're limited and we do need him. And the second part is that there's a part of us that just does not want it. And no matter how much we either pat ourselves on the back of how efficient we are, or how much we pat ourselves on the back of how um, pious we are and how we really do rely on God and all this stuff, we... Uh, If you're not perishing, there's no need of a savior. So you have to have a conscious awareness of the fact that you are perishing, really. Um, again, though, in a healthy, wholesome way. I think that's really the root and core of repentance. But again, to be fair, I mean, even on a larger level, if there's no if there's no problem there's nothing to fix right mm 